Hi, scientists. It's Flipgrid Friday. Whoop, whoop. You know what to do. Click on your homeroom teacher's name to get started. Each time you go to Flipgrid, I have a purpose for your video. And you're thinking, what's the purpose? When you get to your grid, if you scroll down, this is where the information is. I'm going to go ahead and go over the information and then show you what it might look like to set up your model. So it says your goal is to make a model to show which star will be the brightest when viewed from Earth. You're going to need some supplies, four objects total, one item to represent Earth and an item to represent each star. You're going to use the data below to set up a model of Earth and stars. Your model will not be to scale. Once your model is set up, you are going to answer the question, from Earth, which of the stars will appear the brightest? Now, I decided that I wanted you to use three specific stars. So it's not just random, and you're not just saying stars. These stars have names. So what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to pause the video, and I'd like for you to get paper and something to write with. Really, pause the video and get paper and something to write with. Okay, now. Down under the directions, you can see that I have listed the stars and how many light years they are from Earth. So on your paper, I want you to write the name of the star. You can't see me doing it, but right now I'm writing Polaris and then I'm writing 323 light years. Then Sirius, and I'm getting this from the screen right here, not just making this up. Then there's Sirius is 8.611 light years. And then that is Betelgeuse. And it is 642.5 light years away. All right, once you have the name of the stars and the distance that, that it, each star is from Earth, then you're ready to start your video. So you'll scroll down and click on the plus. Hey, okay. I'm not actually going to show you, I'm not, I'm not going to film the video because that would give you the answer, but I want to show you how I would set it up. So I wrote down the name of the stars and their distances. So this is Earth. Remember I told you it's not going to be to scale uh, because then these are my stars. I grabbed some of these football guys. They're going to be my stars. So I know, I'm not going to tell you, I know which one of these is Polaris, Sirius, and Betelgeuse. And I'm going to line them up. So I'm looking at my distances on my paper. And so I'm going to line them up of which one is closest, then a little bit farther, and then the farthest away. So in your video, once you have them lined up, after you have them lined up, please tell me the name. So I know that this one is, this one is, and this one is. I'm not going to say it because I don't want you to give me the answer. I don't want to give you the answer. You are going to give me the answer. Once you have them lined, the, the stars that I gave you, once you have them lined from closest to farthest, then tell me which one is going to be the brightest. So it might sound like blank star is the brightest because. All right. I can't wait to see what you do. Get to it.